a legend in the making. He was an East Coast kid with a dream who ended up being a legendary singer that changed a genre. His mafia connections added to his lore and even got him into some murky situations. Wait till you find out his influence with presidents. His son was kidnapped and his mafia friendships were suddenly in question, with loyalty being doubted. He was part of the legendary Rat Pack, practically owning Las Vegas for decades, leaving his undeniable stamp on the city. Frank Sinatra, the legendary singer. His story, next. Welcome to History Everywhere. I'm your host, William H. Story, and today we're looking at the life of one of the 20th century's most important people, Frank Sinatra. From his early beginnings to mafia connections and his complex personal life, Sinatra's story is simply legendary. Let's start at the beginning. Early life. Frank Sinatra was born on December 12, 1915 in Hoboken, New Jersey. Raised by Italian parents, little Frank faced plenty of challenges. His dad Marty was a firefighter and his mother Dolly was an influential figure in the neighborhood. Sinatra grew up in a rough neighborhood and often got in trouble as a kid. His early life had plenty of poverty, but it was also where he discovered his love for music. Wait till you find out the nefarious connections Frank made as he grew up. Coming up. Frank's Breakthrough. Frank Sinatra's big break came in 1939 when he was hired by a band owner, Harry James. With James's orchestra, Sinatra recorded his first real record, From the Bottom of My Heart. Even though it was not a huge hit, this helped him establish himself as a new talented young singer. In 1940, Sinatra made a career-defining move by joining Tommy Dorsey's band. His popularity exploded and he honed in on his legendary smooth singing style. Here Frank learned a lot about the music business, leading him to aspire for a solo career. Dorsey, though, wasn't too happy about Frank's aspirations and declined his exit. Until Frank's friends showed up, helping him ease his way out of the contract to begin his legendary run. Wait until you see who Frank's good friends were. Coming up. Solo Stardom In the early 1940s, Sinatra launched his solo career, becoming a teen idol. His smooth voice and popular performances earned him the adoration of Bobby Soxers. Teenage girls went crazy over him at concerts. Hits like Night and Day and All or Nothing at All cemented his status as a leading crooner of the era. Frank's influence started to grow. The mafia adored his tunes and soon enough began joining him in professional and personal settings. Wait till you hear the rest. The Rat Pack and Las Vegas. Sinatra's influence extended beyond music into the world of film and entertainment culture. In the 1960s, he became the leader of the Rat Pack, a group of entertainers including Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Lawford, and Joey Bishop. The Rat Pack's performances primarily in Las Vegas, became legendary for their humor, camaraderie, and cool factor. Frank was back. He had connections and even was on speed dial for some presidents in the White House. How was Frank used for their influence? Coming up. <laughs> 